okay so let me show you a demonstration here and for the demonstration purpose I have just created a very simple script okay and that script is just looking like this it's just going to go and hit the Moodle uh, home page and I'm wrapping that one with a transactions named T1 I'm, I'm wrapping it up with a transaction named T1 and then I'm going to go and create a goal oriented scenario and here I'm going to going to access the uh, the the home page okay and as you see you are going to see the scenario goal I'm going to let's edit the scenario goal and here instead of hits per second there are different kinds of goal type and let's rename and the rename is a demo goal and in a demo what we're going to do we are going to achieve transactions per second okay and it automatically picked up the transaction name t1 because it knows the script name so therefore from where from there it picked up t1 and then I want to achieve a goal and my goal here is I want to achieve three transactions per second and I'm going to start with say two users okay so I'm going to start with two users and then I can go up to 150 users okay even with 150 users if I cannot achieve this goal then I will I will either stop the scenario or st I can still continue the scenario without reaching the goal okay I have a various option and also I after I achieve the goal okay after I achieve the three transactions per second I want to run this thing let's say for 30 minutes right now okay and this is how my scenario is looking like okay however this thing actually we do not know so that's why it's a preview it's not a schedule we do not know actually it's going to achieve in this time or it's going to take more time to get to get there okay and also you can you can you can do the load behavior in the load behavior you can use load runners adaptive algorithm to figure out how to step up the v users and most likely I just do it using automatic or you can basically give another option okay but most of the time we do automatic ramp up okay let load runner decide based on the real-time data it is getting right decide how to ramp it up okay so with this we have achieved you know basically we created our created our uh, goal and now let's go to run and here we are going to uh, start and here you know let's uh, basically give a uh, generator and to give a generator I can give a local host so add so it's my local host okay okay and now let's run the test so let's save this uh, scenario as goal oriented scenario and let's start scenario so notice it started with two users and while starting two users are running with two users okay and if you look at the transactions per second so this is the graph that I want to know because my goal is to achieve three transactions per second so right now it's just only 0.2 transactions per second right so it's just only you know, 0.3 so transactions keep, keep increasing right and and if you see in a transaction second I have view user init transaction n transactions I don't need I just need a t1 okay so t1 transaction is about 0.6 transactions per second so therefore I'm expecting that v user so the, I'm expecting that load load controller is going to increase to to some more users uh, let's see like now when it's going to increase okay and actually it's right now what, what is happening so right now load runner is doing is that it is with two users that's what it started so it is basically seeing like you know how many transactions per second I'm getting right and since it is getting less number of transactions it is matching that this is not the goal our goal was to get three transactions per second right so therefore it's, it's try to basically you know match if we can get that three transactions per second and then it will increase the number of v users and it's going to soon is going to increase the number of v users and it will achieve that goal if it cannot achieve that goal even with whatever we we uh, we said here that with 150 users then it's just going to uh, going to continue the scenario without the reaching goal or we can stop okay that, that is dependent dependent on uh, that it that it depends on us so uh, i just have to is well just have to wait for some more time okay and then i'm going to show you like you know even i, I think after i run it for uh, 
like almost maybe uh, you know more than uh, five minutes I'm going to get something like this so this is a snapshot that I did it for last time actually with seven virtual users okay with seven V users I am able to uh, to get the transactions per second that is three so to, to start with it two users right so this is the the two user graph in two users we are starting with this and then again then automatically it increased to six and then I think it's went to seven so with seven virtual user we are able to achieve the goal and then after that once we achieve the goal we are going to run for 30 minutes so that's what we have discussed okay see look like you know, uh, now this is the this is this is the real controller and in this real controller we are already running with 5 v user and with 5 v user we are getting to two transaction per, transaction per second so that means again after some time it is going to add two more virtual user so this is a live and uh, this, this this is a live uh, controller and this is a snapshot i have taken from my previous run so basically the basically uh, i hope you understand the goal oriented and you understand when you need the goal-oriented scenarios. Thanks.